Hi, welcome to the third tutorial on how to set up a virtual cluster using VirtualBox and Scientific Linux. In the previous tutorial, I set up the DNS service so that um, your private network can query to your DNS service and your DHCP server can update to it. So let's set up the DHCP server. We already installed the, the program using yum in the previous tutorial, so let's just set it up. So vim, etc, dhcp, dhcp, d.conf. Now this is all you will see in the file initially. So what we need to add is a key that dhcp will use to update the um, DNS service. And it's important that the the key name and the secret is the same as the one used in your DNS service. Now you have to have to add the zone files. Well, uh, the zone data that the DNS server uses. So it's just ooh. um testcluster.com dot and then like that you have to specify the key that it will be using to update and the primary server it uses to update which is on the same server as the DHCP okay so let's start setting up the DHCP settings first is the dynamic domain name service update style which is interim the DHCP server is authoritative DDNS domain name is testcluster.com and DDNS updates is on as well option domain name servers is the head node we just added as well as the domain name service for your public well the domain name server for your public network this allows your nodes to recursively look up a domain name if you want to need to use the internet so option domain name is this cluster.com so the subnet n net and not met net is 11.0.0.0 with a net mask of 255.255.255.0 and dot okay so the first option is the router which is the head node Second is the subnet mask again. The time offset. This is how far you your time zone is from UTC. I think that's correct. I hope that's correct. Um, and then at the range 11.0.0.1.0 is the um, address name and well the network address sorry up until 254 and 255 is the broadcast or address so ignore client updates and that's it for this one I hope I didn't make any typos so service DHCPD start. I did make a typo. So let's see what what's the problem. Var log messages. Oh, I added a double M. Oopsie. To domain name here.
everything else looks fine so let's try and start the service again and another problem router oh that should be routers well so much for everything else is fine okay and there we finally started the DHCP server uh, correctly so we're done on the head node for now so I'm just gonna tell the file I just looked at which is in slash log slash var log messages and I'm gonna let that follow so I'm going to bring up my virtual box again and start node 01 Uh, let me just decrease the recording size a bit. Okay, I hope that makes it easier to read on the screen. So just log into this, into the node 1. And the first thing we have to do is update, um, well, enable the network card, which is in sysconfig network scripts ifcfg eth0. Ah, well, of course, Vim isn't installed yet. All we want to change in this file is enable on boot. Yeah. Right, quit. Okay, but something we do need to change is allow it or force the network card, sorry, the network card to send the host name or the fully qualified domain name on starting the network. So we do that by editing this file, dhcp dh client dash eth0. Oh, of course, Vim isn't found yet. So we this file gets send fqdn dot fqdn uh, node 01 dot test cluster dot com send fqdn dot encoded on send fqdn dot server update off and then also request fully qualified domain name that should be everything I hope I didn't make a typo somewhere okay so now, theoretically, if everything is set up correctly, when I restart this node's network, our head node should immediately uh, receive the update via DHCP and DNS. So let's try. Service network restart. Uh, there we see something happened the DHCP is working but it did not add the entry to the DNS okay so if we do if config here we'll see the IP that it just got from the head node so let's try and figure out what's wrong with the DNS after some debugging I figured out why the name service wasn't working correctly so the first thing is that name servers didn't have uh, permission to write to the file that, well, to the journal files. So the way to fix this is to churn recursively to root colon named the slash slash etc slash named folder. And then to change um, to gmod, I mean r776, the same folder. Now, the second problem is it wasn't allowed through, through the IP tables. So just vim, etc., sysconfig, IP tables, and add these two lines to do your IP table setup 
Um, the first one is just to allow UDP on port 53 and the second one to allow TCP connections on port 53 which is the DNS port. So when you're done with that just write and close service IP tables restart and it will go. Now there was a third problem which I didn't realize at first Oopsie. on the node we made a file called in etc named we made uh, ls slash etc sorry dhcp we made a file called dh client uh, men eth0 we need to move that file dh client to etc dhcp dh client men eth0 dot conf okay that should do it now if I tell follow var log messages and then restart the network on this machine you will see it gets the DHCP request and then it updates the name service as well um, it's saying it denied the update because the up it's already entered into uh, the DNS records so if I say ping node 0 1 it automatically pings that node if I try to SSH into that node well, not node 0 yes and then I can successfully SSH into the node so now we do the same for the second node just start it up and node 2 is running ok so it's just vim etc sysconfig network scripts ifcfg cfg eth0 of course vim isn't found set on boot to yes vi etc dhcp dh client dash eth0 dot conf send fqdn dot fqdn node zero two dot test cluster dot com semicolon send fqdn dot encoded on send fqdn dot server update of also request fqdn so let's just tell that file again and then service network restart and there you can see it added the new node to the um, DNS files so let's close this ping node 0 2 and there we go now that your DNS is supposed to be well DHCP is supposed to be set up in such a way that your nodes will automatically use the head node as a DHCP server well as a DNS server so let's test this by pinging node 0 1 from node 2 it gets the address it pings it correctly that's it well that's it for this tutorial um, in the next one I'll set up POSIDIS, SSH, NAT and if time allows it NFS as well thank you